went out to Dugway Proving Grounds and tested the system firing slugs. And uh, that validated the launcher was working properly, validated the power system. But we were launching hypersonic bricks at you know, Mach 5, Mach 6, and after they tumbled a while, they're not that impressive. So we came, we basically came with an aerodynamic round, and that's that's the next round of testing that we did. We did that this summer. This is a round that was actually developed by Boeing. We paid them to support this program. What you see here is the armature that's used to generate the force in the in the round. So with that, there's a there's a hundreds of thousands of pounds pushing the round down the bore, and then once it gets out the bore, then uh, air hits the sabot and causes the sabot to separate. And then this was the round that we launched downrange. And um, we launched this particular round at 1,600 meters a second, which is about Mach 5. And uh, with no gun elevation, meaning zero degrees elevation, uh, this thing went seven kilometers downrange before it stopped. And that's after punching through a, a steel plate about an eighth inch thick, 100 yards downrange. The big focus now is looking at the platforms this is going to go on. And we're working closely with the Navy to evaluate different options. The option that looks particularly interesting to, I think, us and the Navy as well, is putting this technology on the DDG-51. We believe, once we get some funding going, that we could have an at-sea demo in about four years. And about three years after that, we could be at a, at a production level putting these on platforms.